Hey everybody, it's Peter. It's finally the last day of Triple S VEDA Vlog Every Day in August 2017. Sponsored by Amy Schmidthauer, SavvySexySocial.com. I actually missed yesterday. Um, I was out longer than I thought. I was, I was just doing my rounds. I thought, you know, it's good. I'm going to go to the movies. So I ended up going seeing Wind River. And I saw the, uh, the evening show. Didn't get home till later. I was thinking about it, I wasn't, and then I'm going to show you a video of what I was going to do about, I was just going to say, that's it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm out. Exhausted and down and meh and a whole bunch of other dwarves, including Sleepy Dopey and Doc. Actually, I have to go see my doc so I don't become Sleepy and Dopey. Actually, I've got new medication that is going to turn me into a vampire. I've got one, another new one that's going to bring down my sugar some more, but I have to watch my exposure to the sun. Because of my different eye surgeries, including my cataract, I am now more uh, photosensitive, so I don't really, me and the sun don't get along. My ailments and everything is going to turn me into a vampire. I can't even be like Wesley Snipe, Snipe uh, in Blade and be a daywalker. I have to literally be a goth emo kid and uh, hang out at night, which I don't mind nights anyway. Anyway. And so I saw Wind River. I'll probably do a review on that later. That is actually an exceptionally good movie. The only thing I will say about this, there is a little blurb at the end. It's not a spoiler, but fun fun fact, not really. It said about a lot of women do go missing in the U.S. And it's a statistic, you know, it's documented. Aboriginal women, no stats. They go missing, we don't know, nobody cares. Who cares what happens on the rest? That's what it comes across. And this is a very strong movie about what happens and the ups and downs. Of that. Anyway, the 30s question was, what's the coolest moment in your life so far? So far, not too much. It's been a quiet few years. Even I've been off and resting. Uh, I haven't had any recent... Okay, okay, I'll say Baby Drop. Last coolest moment, but not for me. It was a cool movie. I really liked it. Cool soundtrack. I'll post the card for the... I did a review. Got the soundtrack. Amazing soundtrack. Saw the movie like five times, twice on free points. Excellent movie. Definitely going to buy the uh, combo pack when it comes out. I'm going to post some pictures of awesome moments. Um, like when I was in the Army, that was pretty cool times. Uh, I have a picture of me from uh, Fan Expo 2010. They had a replica 1960s Batmobile, which I got a picture of. I'll post that. I was kind of cool. And I mentioned in, I think, the video of What Makes You Smile. I told a story from, I think it was a couple of years ago. We were at a private party. We're all hanging out. And there's a picture of me of hanging out with a couple of young girls. Yes, they are. And there's a really cool picture of me just doing a whole, you know, gangster. I got the girls on either side of me. Anyway, felt like a bit of a rock star. What I really liked about that moment was, I think I mentioned before, it made me smile. It made me smile. I felt this beautiful euphoria. You know, she's like, yeah, this, this, this is, this is a rough life. That maybe some people maybe think the sexist. Screw you. I felt really amazing. It was a really nice moment. We hung out for quite some time, just chilling. Yeah, I've had, I've had a series of, I can't really say there's one current, because I've had a series. It's, that's what life is. Life is a series of moments where it's like, I remember an old Dennis Leary thing about, you know, uh, there's only moments of happiness, you know, eating a cookie, having a cigarette, uh, orgasm, um, you know, an amazing moment. Oh, you met your favorite uh, person. Uh, those, those are the things that are like cool. My summer job in 92 when I went back to college for the first time and I ended up working uh, up in Ottawa. Uh, that was cool. That was a cool moment. That wasn't even a moment. That was a cool summer. I mean, I got to hang out, learn technical illustration uh, from scratch, learn a, a, an old-fashioned AutoCAD system. But, you know, I was like, whoa, here's some stuff I can, and, you know, that's the kind of work I wish I could have got into. But they were actually going to start outsourcing. Uh, but that was a cool job. So I, I've had a series of, like, cool moments here and there. You know, it's just little things here and there. It's things like, yeah, that was cool. That was cool. That was a nice moment. Yeah. And today is the final day. It's day 31. The question was, uh, what's your final thoughts on all this? So blogging for 31 days. Well, I did better than the last two. I did August last year and April this year. And when I look back at my playlist, I did lots of combos. I think, I don't know if it was the last one, the one before. I did like one to nine. One thing I found... I took away from it is I got into a sort of a, a quasi routine um, because I'm still sort of I sleep in still and whatever I have my own scheduling but what I found the best one is because I find I'm, I'm right now shooting it's five after five in the afternoon but after dinner the sun goes down um, even though I'm using even though I'm using um, you know incandescent lighting if you do the white balance just right uh, I, I think I found the right balance for it you can shoot in the evening I would prefer better lighting. I mentioned to one of the other guys I've been following. 
And he said, oh, use a ring light. And everybody's talking about the, ink, the ring light. And I said, yeah, but I can't take lights because of my eye surgeries. I can't take bright lights anymore. Like, I have a light up here as a nice shot. And when the overhead light is great, but if I bring the camera down too far, it'll catch that light. Uh, if I could somehow set up, but I need another camera stuff, like I mentioned before. I wish I had, you know, slightly better equipment, but I think I'm doing pretty good for what I have. Get, get good sound from the webcam. I do have a Lavalier mic, and I have a nice mixing board that I do have a review on, too, if you look at my notes. So I do have the equipment. That, uh, it's, it's not exactly, because, you know, I'm a slight perfectionist at the time. I like that thing just, just right, but I think I'm doing pretty good with what I have. But, yeah, 31 days of vlogging is hard. Uh, one day, I think it was day six. Miss, I just had the meh. I'm like, nye, 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 nye. I was like, screw it, I'm not going to do this. And then one day I was out, I had a couple of days where I was out busy. I came home, uh, another day was a gaming night. So I know there are tricks of I know a guy who did it in August of last year, he actually was going on vacation. So what he did, he spent I think a day or two before he took off because he was going to be gone for the whole month, he just batch filmed. So basically he did all the days and then just posted them every day. So to me that's a bit of a cheat and a hack because I think the idea of the exercise is like get used to a routine, uh, you know, get yourself out there, how to promote yourself, how to get into, you know, okay, great, you can do th you know, one month straight. Great, then you should be able to do, you know, once a week, a couple times a week. Some people do three, some of the more prolific Vloggers, so it's a good exercise. And okay, you got to do it then. It's got to be out by then. Blah blah blah. Uh, a lot of times, I end up sh by the time I shoot, finish, and also I had a few days where the ISP was totally down. I didn't was able to get the video out until almost midnight. But what I did was I posted it on the on the hashtag on Twitter, and then I'd go back the next day and just say, in case you missed it, here it is again. So I was getting it out on a regular basis, like that, either because of doing other things so but what I did as a compensation this time around I only did a couple of combo days but two days because like I said before there was some I was doing like a whole week I didn't feel like doing it for a week I was like you know what here's all the questions but it, and you end up with a really lengthy video I found uh, I could get it down between two to five minutes because everybody's so squirrel and ADD and all this other stuff that you know especially millennials and gen uh, Z or Zers depending what part of the world you're from you know, this next generation too. Everybody seems to get it. I, all I hear nowadays too is everybody's like talking super fast. I don't pick up on it. Uh, maybe because I'm not a millennial, but I don't really like watching people. It's like, so anyway, here I was. I was doing this thing. And, zip, and I'm like, where's the bloody fire? Like, just talk at a normal rate of speed, but something we can all understand. Unless, like I said, do millennial brains process faster talking and faster things or they're distracted easier? I mean, I get... You know, ADD as much as the next person, but that's just how I am. I'll be doing something, and I'll go like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh, wait a minute. There's a thing over there. I'm going to go over there and do that. No, I should have gone back to there. So, yeah, I get the idea of catching attention. I find myself, too, looking at some videos. If it doesn't pull me in in the first minute or so, it's either because the way some people are like, hi, how you doing? I got this wonderful channel, and, and I'm just like gone. So I don't know how my reaction is. You know, mention in the comments below. How do you think my reaction is? Am, am I enticing? Do I draw you in, dear viewer? Or are you just like, oh, crap, another old guy doing a vlog. Click. Let's go to the next page. Love me. So, yeah, I found this time around it was easier for me to do. I got more of a routine, learned okay, and editing trade because, as you can see, um, I do like to blather on. Uh, I, I will go off on tangents. And I found what I was – the great thing about editing was – yeah, chop out all the nonsense because I will just go off in tangents because I've done so much in my life. Quite a bit, like when you think, don't even include high school and stuff, but you figure, I joined the Army when I was 20 and, you know, did that for seven years and then got in the printing business and that was interesting stuff. And, I, you know, all the different things in my life, even the last, you know, 30 odd years, I did some pretty interesting things. I just didn't sit around. And when I was younger too, I, I did do some traveling, went to Florida, went to England, uh, did Hawaii on my own, you know, a school trip. So... I've been around and, you know, so I've seen quite a bit. I, you know, feel enriched. Uh, I'm well-rounded to a degree. I don't know everything. I know some things. Um, one thing I will give uh, just a general advice, you never stop learning. I'll tell you that right now. There's always something or there's always something, you know, you do learn something every day. Okay. I put it to you. How have you found this? these last 31 days? You're just like, oh, my God, it's over. Uh, 
I don't want to vlog anymore. Uh, or he's just like, oh, this is great. I can now promote myself. I am more confident. I'm better. And I can get my product out if you're going to be running a business and you're branding and all those other marketing type terms. Or you just did this for laughs and just like, yeah, let me see if I can challenge myself and do 31 days of vlogging every day. So again, you know, comment below, like always, ring the bell, well, ring the bell, like, dislike, <laughs> subscribe, ring the bell, you know the drill. And um, I will try, I think, do the review for Wind River uh, shortly. And uh, if you like my stuff, you know, join my channel. There'll be more shenanigans going on. Now I got to actually go through, uh, YouTube made some changes again. Now I got to find where all the tools are again. Uh, I just finally found the part for um, posting your intro video. I didn't have that before. And I watched an interesting video too. I will post that if I have the link for that still on uh, 20 tips uh, most YouTubers, uh, you know, forget to do. One of them was, and I learned this, this is another thing I learned not from doing VEDA, but from watching that video, is I was labeling all my stuff, you know, hashtag triple S VEDA. And then the topic, what I ended up doing last night, I'm going to go through my, all of my other ones either, is uh, I'm going to relabel them so that the topic is at the beginning. So when you search, you're going to find, oh, motivational quotes, not hashtag triple S VEDA, August 2017, motivational quotes. One of the tricks is basically don't get so niche with your things becomes like, well, yeah, I'm on part triple S VEDA. I will look for that. But if, if I want to bring in other people, well, they don't know about triple S VEDA or the regular VEDA. They might know, so they're going to be looking for other things. Oh, uh, Stan Lee or Wind River Review or, you know, other things that I do. Make sure they're in the title, you know, to draw people in and make sure you have the right tags for that too because that's very important. So it's been a fun month. I hope you had fun. I think I did. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll tell you the next one. And be seeing you.